Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, Mandate of Heaven. Uh, still a little bit sick here, a little bit uh, froggy in the throat, but doing a little better. Um, I have uh, heard from the vast majority of people in the comment section that the the colonial bug, the colonial thing, where a, a nation can declare war on another nation uh, without dragging in... Anybody else is a co-belligerent, co either their allies, the the home nation, or anything like that is a bug. Um, I've heard a bunch of people saying they've they've been watching other YouTubers who've been like exploiting the shit out of it to get free colonies and stuff like that. I've also had a minority of people saying, no, they changed the way colonial nations work. That's working as intended. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me, personally, because I've I've looked into declaring war on other colonial nations. And as you can see, it's locked into dragging Great Britain into it. If you declare a colonial war, it's locked into uh, dragging Great Britain into it. I've tried doing it through, uh, like through this way, start a colonial war. But when you start a colonial war, it's a colony on a colony. And you're not involved with that either. Uh, it's just you telling them to go get somebody and, you know, go declare war, go get them. And uh, so I'm, I'm firmly of the opinion that it is indeed a bug. And it is sadly something I just have to suck up and deal with for now. Um, some other people wanted me to continue eating Shiba, which is something I've considered. But for right now, I think I'm going to keep them as a tributary. What I'm most afraid of is that the second I release them, uh, because there's that you know super fast AI speed taking advantage of situations that, that it can do because it's a computer, Ming will make them a uh, tributary. I would love to fight Ming sometime, but I need to work on my my nation a little bit before that happens and for me what that means is going to be uh formalizing my control over the malacca trade node which is going to be uh starting out over here i do believe well i'm already in it but uh, a lot of trade flows to and through here and i want to make sure i can really capitalize on that it's been a little while since i played so i don't remember exactly the situation i was in i'm not going to uh, make that a, um, a state because it's going to turn into a colony soon. I have my three colonists out. Uh, holding off on tacking up because of the ahead penalties. That makes sense for me. That's not... I very, very rarely take ahead penalties on technology. I can count on one hand the amount of times I've done that. Oh, and who, who answers to Magnus here? So, Mexico, uh, Colombia, Sheba, uh, Kassar, and Alaska. That's fine. They're giving me admin. That's, that, I can handle that. Everybody else is good. Uh, how's my Diplo macro builder looking? Uh, established tributary. There's 12 nations that are willing to become my tributaries right now. Fucking A. Huh. Hang on a sec. Let's, uh... Let's go through the list here. Let's, can we make a, a tributary, like, empire? By going through this list here? Shimazu Brunei. So Brunei I was just spying on. I'm just making everybody that that's willing to accept it my tributary. Too many diplomatic rela Oh, you know what? No, they all count as uh, diplo relations slots. So that's not military access from Pueblo. No, they don't. This is other stuff. So that's 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 like over here. So I have to go through here and like diplomacy access. Yeah. Diplomats are a mile out. Cancel. Oh, nice. Couple days. Come on. I know you want to. I need some time. I need. need I know it's gonna take you a while. My Ryuku run that I've been doing off screen. Met my my Ryuku in Mexico went fucking hog goddamn wild. Uh, in its expansion, it went from uh, a nation a little bit smaller than the one I have right now to it. It owned everything. It was, well, basically all of North America was Alaska, California, and 
uh, Mexico, but Mexico was just huge swaths of North America, and they were super pissy because they were so big. There's plenty more money I can make. I think I need to pay off my my taxes, though. All right, who do you uh, like? Okay, that's fine. oh tributary of Ming. You are not a tributary of Ming. Nobody. This guy never has any allies for some reason. Brunei, do I have uh, Sulu? Oh, that's fine. Su wait, Sulu? This is Sulu. Sulu's a separate nation somewhere. Oh, right, I forgot about that. All right, so it's, uh, it's time to punch you, it looks like. Put a leader on here. Might as well. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any reason I can't. Conquest. Bring Sulu into it. So we can take what's left of them. And just take care of that. Uh, if you can fully control the Malacca trade node, you can you could really own a huge portion of the the world's trade. Mm. I have Thian's liberty desire. I don't know. Like, I'm not sure how much I'm liking the new China stuff because all I've I've, I've never seen it. I haven't seen it. Ma I'm gonna try to phrase it. I I like dynamics in the game. I like things to be dynamic. I like, like every time I play, I don't know what's going to happen, but across crossed across um maybe six playthroughs um some completed some not completed yet of mandate of heaven i've i've played i've never seen anything else happen other than ming steamroll this side of the planet they just you know they they max everything out they have no trouble with tributaries they never leave lose the mandate of heaven uh and they there's just no issues. They just steamroll and get powerful, and it's not dynamic. That's, uh, it's more. Ch it might be more challenging, but it's not more dynamic. And dynamic is what I'm, I'm really looking for in these games. Also, bugs. I know the newest patch fixed some of them, but uh, the hit breaks the save, unfortunately. So I gotta play with Ming and not hungry. Oh, where are my other armies? One there. One way up here. Uh, here, yeah. Wanted him to go up this way. Oh, wait, hang on. I fear, I think we were doing something here. Oh, we can get through them. Okay, so we can get through them now. Okay. And while we're while we're thinking uh, about it, let's go to the Diplo Macro Builder and find... Oh, I can't establish tributaries during... Wait. Aren't you my tributary? No, you're not my tributary. I thought that. I, I, for, I don't remember why I thought that. All right, you go up here. Already got 48% war score. Uh, I think this time, I, I don't remember. Uh, I might, if I can, I might annex them because it's easier. Oh, I got a frigate with the war galley in here. Hang on, let's uh, oh, send you guys back home. I don't remember what my navy's doing, but a lot of there's a lot of people sitting around. So let's. I mean, here's my here's my big navy. There's the other section of real ships. Oh, I clicked on something. I don't remember what it was. I, I don't. Wait, did I actually click it? I don't know. But that's a lot of pop-ups all at once. Loyal subjects. Diplo annex cost. Can I diplo annex anyone right now? Maybe not now, but maybe soon. And how long is that good for? Only five years, so I'll take the PowerPoints. Uh, no, I'm not giving you guys anything. Oh, shit. I just wasted a bunch of those because I wasn't paying attention. That sucks. That sucked. Okay, is there anybody I can culture convert? Sulawesi? There is. Huh. I don't think I should do that right now, though. Uh, 
I mean, uh, I can strengthen my government. Don't need to. I think we're just going to use it for development then. Some more silk out in the world, and let's do some taxes too. Spend some of those points so I don't cap out. It happens to me a lot these days. I'm not sure why they changed that. I kind of wish they um, they hadn't done that before. If you if your cap was 999 and you went over to say a thousand, uh, just for example, um, either by the monthly gain or the event. Uh, or, or an event that gave it to you, what would happen is it would go over that limit for that one month, and you could pause it and spend it, and you wouldn't waste anything. But now, if you go over that limit, it just hard caps it at $9.99, or whatever your limit happens to be at the time, rather than give you that opportunity to use it, which I don't I don't understand that change, I guess. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal, but I, I thought giving you just that little one-month leeway to use it before made a lot of sense. So these guys are the ones I'm gonna... No, that's not. That's these ones. Tador. I gotta take out these guys too, fuckers. Rebels. Conversion successful. Okay. Couple provinces left to convert still, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen anytime soon. This is just one province too, it looks like, so... Oh, and we did get our guys over here. Let's split them up. And make sure this stuff gets finished. Uh, or unseaged, at least. Shimazu, Louisiana, which I believe I took from France. This is Brunei. Who I'm attacking right now. Tangu. Ta uh, Taunga. Gu? Taungu. What's these guys? Never actually seen that nation do that before. Normally, like, Pegu or something. Or Ayutthaya just overruns the region, or Bengal usually goes in there. That's the that's the one I don't think I've ever seen uh, take the area before. So let's merge these ships together. Uh, let's create a new unit. Select this unit. Make sure they are on protect trade. Let's put them uh, in Malacca itself. Nope. Sorry. Uh, let's. Here, let's... Oh, they landed... They didn't land troops. They have troops down here. But that's that's no big deal. We can take this shit easy. Alright, yeah, that's a lot of war score. Of course, there is more to do. I'll grab all this stuff, because this will make my... This will turn Australia into a Shamazu colony. Which I don't remember where my colonists are right now. Oh, there's one there. And there's one right there. And okay, they're all over this area. <laughs> Alright, still way up on tech, so let's spend some of our points on dev. So we don't go over. Just kinda dump it. I've actually noticed since I don't know why, but since Mandate of Heaven, I've been spending a lot more um, a lot more dip, uh, no, uh monarch points, God damn it! the monarch points on, on development, because I, I tend to max out, I don't know where that's coming from, maybe I've just gotten lucky, I've been rolling good leaders or something like that, but it just seems that way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and then, you know what we should do, let's split this in half, send half down here. Take that one, and then we'll take, uh, who's it's Sulu. I think that's Brunei, too. Might as well take it. Yeah, I'll pay the, pay the points there. Okay. Nice. This is all mine. I'll take this, and then we'll send the ships back. Or we'll send them back. It seems like it's a lot to, to vassalize. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of Brunei as a state in this war. 
Definitely took one of the in-progress colonies, but that's fine. We got the money to keep more colonies up. Pretty rich. Contro controlling this trade node right here is like the key to being stupid rich on this side of the planet. Alright, U-22, you're gonna go to Sulu, which is right here. To Guam, yeah, apparently Guam's all I got left. Treasure fleet, I forgot I have treasure fleets. Alright, that's all taken care of. Malaka. Yeah, I'm gonna have to punch them sometime too. Sorry, no can do. You need to die. Oh, that's fine. I keep forgetting there's people, there's actual uh, units down here that could, I can help with this. Yes, get them. Oh, they came to me. Hello. Rebel bastards. I think some of this stuff's still coring too. All right, so, yep, you go there, you go there. Take care of all that stuff. It means, uh, right over here should be pretty meaningless in terms of sieging it down. Oh, take the prestige hit. Got a lot of prestige. Uh, you guys go right there. Grabbing all the little Southeast Asian islands uh, generally isn't that big of a deal. So there's not much there to worry about. Glad I man managed to get these troops over to where they needed to be uh, by some means. Okay. Uh, you're going there. Boom. Kind of bop these islands. Who's this? Tador. Okay, so they did have something else. Got a lot of points stored up, so as soon as we, uh, it's like three more, two or three more years need to pass, but as soon as they do, we can snatch up, uh, all that stuff. These guys, I think I'm just going to full annex because taking their shit is going to be easy, and coring all that's not going to be an issue, not going to cause me any undue strife. Just, bam, 21 points right there, no big deal. Alright, maybe we, we might be able to end this now and get everything I want. But let's take... Can I take that? Oh, that's mine, because it's green! Haha! <laughs> I know how this game works. I want to take all of Australia. Bam. I want to take anything that's not... nailed down to their... Well, you know what? We have the admin points right now. Cannot full annex them, it looks like. Close. Coalition Brunei. Who fucking cares? Alright, there we go. Take their stuff. I had the points. So I have no issue with... Spending that right now. Uh, and look, it's all mostly low dev stuff. So even though it's a huge list, it's only 49% overextension. Korea, economic, revoke embargo. Cool. I'm going to leave these guys down here just in case any of, the, the, any of those areas get a little uppity. New settlement, base tax, I'm going to take that. Oh, wireless mouse just died. Go to my other one. My backup mouse. Treasure fleet. Thank you. Oh, and there's one more little province down here. So this is Shimazu. This is Shimazu, Mexico. This is one, two, three, four, five. So this is five. What colonial zone is it in? Colonial Eastern America. So this should be like Shimazu, America or something like that. Uh, as soon as all this stuff is cored. We're just gonna hang, let those guys hang out over there. Oh, and there's actually two more. The list was so big, it actually blooped off the bottom. And after these colonies finish, I might change my native policy. I believe that costs a stability point, though. Thought it did. Thought it cost something. 
Any policies I can add? Ooh, there is a policy I can add. Uh, yeah, global settler increase of 20. I'll take that. Global tariffs. Uh, that's the only one I'll do for now. Right, clergy needs... Alright, so we, we, a couple people need a little bit of land. Uh, <sighs> Merchant guild. There was one. Actually, that's got a lot of production. And a lot of manpower in there. Got a lot of manpower in there. Let's give that kerplow to those guys. Low taxes, so clergy would be somewhere would be high taxes would be fine. Or just something small would be that would make them happy. I don't want to give them anything like fancy. Like they, had, they dumped a lot into manpower, didn't they? Silks just went up. Tax them. Mm. And up here is all stuff that I've. And it's all at zero autonomy. Well, might as well give them something. Oh, and we got loans to pay off. We got 3,000 ducats sitting around. Definitely pay off those loans. Okay, nice. Uh, any production that would be useful right now? I'm sure there is. Temples. Taxes. Get those those tax incomes up. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just do that until we run out of funds. There we go. Spain is definitely still getting kicked. Alrighty. I'm about to say my aggressive expansion is not that bad, honestly. What about asking for more tributaries? You can, uh, let's see. Establish tributary. I'm just gonna ask everybody to be my tributaries. Everybody that'll say yes, I'll ask to be my tributaries, and I'll have them all give me points or something. Or manpower. And see how that functionality in the game works. Native simulation, nice. It's up there. Uh, three trivial tributary tribes. What is that? Have three tribal states as tributaries. Okay, so I just got a uh, achievement for doing that. Tenere? Actually, those ones I was going to kill. Apache, yeah, I'll do. Send. Man, and everybody's just like, sure. And then if anybody declares war on me, they'll swarm in like angry little bees, right? What the hell was that noise for? I just heard a big wow. Spain tells us of the spice trade. The spice must flow. Yeah, lose the money. It's not a big deal. One colony self-sustaining. You guys keep searching. I'm gonna. I. I. I, I kind of wish the this diplo macro builder is not quite as good as I, I like with large things like that. It'd be nice if I just go click, 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 click. Check them all. Hit OK, and then it would go through and do them. That would be a quality of life kind of thing. Salish. I'm pretty really sure that's over there. Tributary state. Tributary state. So I believe I have a colony somewhere that doesn't have a person on it. Nope, right there. Send. It's almost done, but that's cool. Got an idea group here. New ships. Big military tech right there. Cohorn mortar. Banner calf still. Asian musketeers. Okay. And time to pick a free slot. Let's see, what do we want to do? Another military idea would be nice. How about influence? Income from vassals, prestige, chance of new air, diplo annexation cost, passive expansion impact, diplomatic reputation, diplomatic relations, travel time, vassal force limit contribution, unjustified demands. It's not bad. Never, I never actually grabbed that before. 
Actually, be really good with a Ryuku run because of that Diplo annexation cost. Hmm. A military one would definitely be good. Thinking. Excellent. Strength produces as many as we can. Oh, guns. Yeah, let's get those fucking guns. Not that I don't already have them, but whatever. Attrition, I mean, land attrition might be nice in the... Well, actually, what's going to give me siege ability, which I think is quality? Quantity, it, although also quantity is... <laughs> Land attrition would be... Uh, that's another one right there. Where is that? That's way up there. Okay. So let's go ahead and take... Hmm. Defensive is also good for the attrition thing. Oh, you know what? And, yeah, let's take an offensive. Because I'm going to be fighting in the jungle a lot going up this way. Shimazu, Louisiana. Shimazu, Australia. Um, don't, don't, don't I own you? Aren't you mine? Don't, don't you belong to me? All right, we got army tradition right there. Very nice. It's going to keep my tradition at a base higher. Oh, Span <laughs> the Spanish won. This war, apparently. Bremen and Portugal. Portugal's strong, aren't they? No! They're not. Spain's got some, some oomph, but Bremen and Portugal don't. Auto bros are big. Russia's big. Perm, even, I mean... Physically is big, but that's low dev stuff. Sweden's huge. Commonwealth's huge. It's like the auto bros and the Commonwealth have been really going at it for a while. It looks like Netherlands is big. But well, where we stand on the list, we're number three in the world. Underneath the Ottomans by a long shot. Alright, so these guys are the next, well... Fuck you guys. You're a tributary of Ming. Oh, and I, I completely forgot about my my little mission. Pueblo. Chimu. That's all the stuff down here. Sport independence of Hispaniola. Where are you, Hispaniola? So that's over here. Um, decline. Sorry. Now, I can't see what's going on over there. I don't have an easy way of accessing that area, so I'm going to have to sadly decline. Uh, let's... Let's keep going. There's still seven that'll say yes. Jeez. Or Tador, uh, Tenerit, Kado, Kiche. And then I'll have to, I'm going to have to go through and make sure Brazil... Brazil wants to be my tributary? Come on. That was a, that's a close one, too. I have a free diplomat. Yeah, Brazil, I'll take you in. Build a spy network in Brunei. I can pull that guy back. Brunei is basically two-province minor right now. Let's look at take a look at this list now. These are all... This is what everybody is sending me right now. And I got somebody working, and what I could go through is tell is demand something else. Well, some of these guys, if they're not, I don't, I think if they're if they're not big enough, they can't. You can't demand specific things, or if they don't like you enough. Yeah, but some of the better ones, you can demand power points. I mean, it's not a lot, but still, let's demand military power points. Because right now we're focusing on our military. Or we have a military idea group. 
This will get help me get a little bit more points. And everybody else will just send me money. Focus for all. Supportive. Aggressive. Man, look at that fucking list. And it's just going to keep getting bigger. Um, let's say, Tador, I want to steal your shit next. So, I don't think I have a CB here. So, we'll covert action, build spy network in Tador. Can't think, help but think of uh, Borderlands when I think when I, when I see Tador, because I don't know if it's spelled the same. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Tador was the name of one of the uh, gun manufacturers, which was, which was uh, kind of like weird guns. I think the ones that they that when you reloaded them, like it teleported you a new one and you threw the other one at somebody and it exploded. Now are you a tribute? You are not, but you are you do have a powerful ally. And sieging down your shit's gonna be tough. Alright, this I will statify. Now let's see. Grand Temple. And more fifteens, there's a fifteen there. About production. Yeah, some of these are really useful. Near like a couple of those, two of those was 1.6 ducats for just the two of them. Uh, trade. Oh, yeah. It's a big one. Fours. I'll take those. Colonialism against Spain. That makes sense. I've got land everywhere. If I remember correctly, you are a tributary. See, what's nice about the tributaries is anybody who wants to declare war on me has to declare war on my swarm of little bees. Uh, so let's let's keep this 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 rolling. That's this guy right here. I plan on killing him. Like the ones in North America, I don't care about. You know, Kado. Let's take those. Uh, I don't care about it as much because um, it's more like, okay, if nobody else can eat them up, it means that when I want to, I can release them and eat them and blah, 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 blah. They're mine to destroy. All right, go right there. Should My ship should be right nearby. I uh, shouldn't have to worry about the, the landing penalty. They're just rebels. They usually have really low morale. Come on, before they take it. Yeah, not even close, even with the minus two. No big deal there. But we are out of time. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have been enjoying the series, and I'll see all of you next time.